shit wrong button.
money for what?
800. Jesus. Good rich. You want pills? Pretty bright. I think we need to fix his bloody paints first. Welcome to the stream. Start sorting my dude out. What's this? How get on that? What was premium?
Oh, here we go. Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Corn Ferry Tour opener is about to begin. Luke will be here alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer is about to take part in their first Corn Ferry Tour event. I'd imagine the nerves are huge. What type of goals are they setting and what can they expect in the season ahead? Well, look, there's only one goal for these players, and that's to secure their PGA Tour card. And there's three ways to go about it. They can get three wins on the Corn Ferry Tour. That will automatically get them to PGA Tour. If they finish in the top 25 in the regular season money list, that will also gain access to the PGA Tour. But for everyone else, they need to finish the season in the top 75 in the points list to qualify for the Corn Ferry Tour Championship. And then the 50 from there will go on and secure a spot on the PGA Tour. I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. Good shot there, Beamer. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Ah, great shot. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. Was that a good line? Whoa. That was how you get. Here, this one's for par. He's in a share of seventh place. The second tee. Five. Well, I hope you pack the bucket and spade because you're heading to the sand. That's off. Well, let's see how this shot goes from the fairway boat. I was going to say, it probably jumps into another bunker. Well, that was a good strike. Getting ready to play their third. Well, at least it's on the green. That's the positive. Well, this would be a big birdie here. A good putt to make. <laughs> Didn't quite judge the speed on that one. This putt about 11 feet in distance. Oh, so close. Okay, so that finishes that hole. And a little slide down the leaderboard happening. Make sure you respond quickly. Trying to shake off the bogey on the last hole as they step onto this tee. Needs this to kick a bit left. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Now, this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Playing like shit. Mm, just hammered that through the line. An opportunity to make a par here. Ouch, that hurts. Two, two bogeys. And this one will be for bogey. And that putter's hold, and that means it's back-to-back -back bogeys, unfortunately. Two bogeys in a row. Never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. Lovely effort, that. Second shot here on the fourth. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Quality shot, that one. And this part to move into the top 20. Oh, just missed. A putter waits. 
Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Two shots. It's going to rough. That's one then. It's right here. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Oh, mm. so close. And yeah, this next putt, game. it's for bogey. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. A chance to put last hole's bogey behind them here at this team. Well, this should be unpredictable. Don't know what you're going to get from the golfing gods here. That was a little... Penny, what have they got in front of them here? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Well, a little off the target with that one. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been handling a lot of greens today. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 11 feet from the cup. This is what they have left for par. Yeah, that putt looked pushed. Bit of clean up work remaining on this hole. The putt goes in, and that's back to back bogeys. Two bogeys oh, in a row, central. never a good sign. Have to see if they can't rebound from that. Playing within their comfort zone there. Well, this would be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. Well, that's a bit disappointing. That was a gallant attempt. Yeah. So this sad. one for bogey. The putt drops, and we're moving. And that's now five bogus, over mate. for the round. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. That's really not what they were looking for. Coming off a streak of three bogeys. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. And here we are with the third shot. Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Such soft hand. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 195 yards. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. But not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Sadly, hasn't made a putt all day. Hopefully that can change here. Ooh, a little bit of a rush of blood by the looks of it. Trailing by eight strokes now after that hole. See what happens here at the tenth hole. You like that, didn't you? That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. Getting ready to play their third. Wind is blowing left to right, gonna try and hold it against the wind. 
Oh, I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. Yep, they Houdini. Brilliant. And he's down there. You got a read? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. He finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. All this rough looks to be lush and thick, doesn't it? Wow, did this come out beautifully. That was a bit of a miscue. You know, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. Didn't that look good for a long time? Five feet coming up to the cup. An important par save. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Our current leader is enjoying a one shot. We find ourselves on a par three here. Needs this one to kick right. Okay, that'll work. This part is about 19 feet in distance. That's a disappointing stroke. That's a push. And this putt coming up for his par. Currently at six over par. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. Hmm. Oh, a tough shot to get out of. This reminds me of my breakfast. Nice fried egg. And here we are with the third shot. Ah, I like that. Always good when you've got hands like that around the green. Love watching this player on the greens. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. That was wonderfully done. 19 feet to the cup. Little birdie look in here. Jesus, mate. Wow. Mm. That's misjudged. Looks good. Ah. That's oh, frustrating. What? For a bogey. A little slide happening here on the lead. Bounce back. Welcome to the tee of a par four. This one looks to be headed towards the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 15. Opting for the six iron. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Yeah, a bit long on that one. Just six feet between here and the hole. Ah, that'll affect the scorecard. Well, they're never nice, but that's the wrong time to go back to back with bogeys. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Happens here at the 16th. Choosing the nine iron here.
A bit wild on approach there. Not taking enough club to get it there. And he needs this to save par. That ain't gonna happen. Okay, steady now. Just a short putt remaining here. Sitting at nine over par. And moving down the leaderboard as well. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Oh, well done. This shot here from about 240 yards. Downwind on this shot. Yeah, disappointing not to find the surface, Rich, but I like that play. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Ooh. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. And the effort that one. I'm playing really badly. Eddie, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up this shot with the wind in their face. My game is appalling. I'm telling you right now. You shouldn't be watching me. That's nicely done. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this putt 18 feet from the cup. Just didn't. Jesus. Fall. And this putt for a final score of 80. And that brings to an end his event. Well, Rich, it's fair to say that this player didn't quite have their best stuff this week. Not what the player no. was hoping for at week's end. Hopefully they can find some positives to take with them. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. And on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now. I think I'm going to play that one again, if I can. Yeah, I probably can't go back. Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are delighted to welcome you to today's event. Today's coverage of the Grayson Classic is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, delighted to be alongside 2002 PGA champion Rich Beam. Looking forward to the action out on the golf course today, Luke. That dog will hunt from about 200 yards out. A nice approach shot there. Pin high. The range. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Oh, just missed. Come on. A par putt on the table. He's currently tied for fourth. See what happens here on the second hole. Well, that's a handy shot. This one is heading to a really not so good space. Getting ready to play their third. How close was that to going down? Oh, that's a tasty looking chip. 
Top shot. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. So no movement on the leaderboard. Remains even overall. Here we are at the third. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And this player is really going after it here, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Setting up here with a very long putt. Terrific shot, almost an eagle. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboards, always pleasant. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Sitting at one under, currently tied for second. Ooh, that almost went down. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Solid par putt, that. Strokes now. Here we are at the fifth hole. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. Henny, what does that lie look like? Just trickled off the fairway, but still in good shape. Nice out the rough here. That's tidy. A share of top spot on the leaderboard awaits if they can make this putt. Steady on. That one's come up short. Downhill putt, and sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Figured out this time. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Even for the day. Tied for sixth position. We are with the third shot. Two strokes off the lead. Nice recovery there. Judging it beautifully. He's currently tied for third. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Oh, that was pure. From about 100 yards. Just one shot back now. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. That wasn't your best effort, was it? And this putt to move into a tie for second. Ooh. This one's for bogey. And unfortunately dropping back to even par there. Unfortunately backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. It looks like he pushed that one. No, oh, that's too bad. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Off here at the ninth hole. 
And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Around 110 yards to go. Just three strokes back. This one's bunker bound. That's not the outcome they were after. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. It's a nightmare. Well, the putter's going to be coming out of the... But it's still going to be a long way from the hole. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Can't believe you oh, did that. That so drives you bonkers as a player. Well, that's disappointing. This putt's for double. Now five strokes behind. We've reached the beginning of the back nine, the tenth. Couple of birdies and a couple of bogeys. Needs to get something going here today. Well struck from around 120 yards here. Five shots off the pace. This one is right down the pipe. Oh, shit. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Great touch. He's in a share of 15th. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. A uh, bit too much pace on that one. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Playing from around 160 yards. Five shots off the lead. This one's going to the right. Yeah. Just a little off with the accuracy there. Unable to find the green. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Yes. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. All right, facing a little up and down here to save the par. Ah, that's a touch of class. Such soft hands. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Love the long holes. Welcome to the par five. That's a good looking shot there. Second shot here on the 14. Well, this should affect the ball flight. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Getting ready to play their third. Five strokes behind our leader.
What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. What an opportunity to make a birdie. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Par four. But it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 185 yards. Pretty good shot there. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. And the putt drops, now one over, heading down the stretch. They're gonna have to dig deep to pull this. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Yeah. Pretty surprising. straightforward four-footer coming up here. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. And that'll move even power for the tournament. Looks like they've got the five-wood. Oh, he's caught up in some branches there. I'm pretty sure they had their sights set on hitting the green there. Players setting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. Shit. Well, it's a chance still to get up and down if they can hold a monster. Well, this would be a great power putt if you can make this. Yeah, like as if. Appears to have overcooked this one. Seven feet to the cup. Just need to pull the putter back a little bit further, I think. Wow. Shocking, to say the least. How do you miss that? And That's now teeing off on the final hole of this round. Opting for the three wood. This is bold. Going for it in two. Good play there, Rich. I like it a lot. This is play Luke like to see it on this par five. Didn't that look good for Whoa. a long time? Oh, that was tidy. That should ensure the up and down. Gotta say. His short game is phenomenal. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. Well, they've put a few points on the board there, Rich, with that performance. They did. Overall, it was a good week. I can say it was spectacular, but a nice solid week and a nice solid finish in the top 10. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in and see you next time.
welcome you to today's event. Today's coverage of the Fellowship Open is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, no wins for this golfer, but they've been very consistent all season, keeping themselves inside that all-important top 25. Absolutely. They've been solid all year long, and it doesn't look like we will see them on the Corn Ferry Tour next year just because they should progress to the PGA Tour next year. No doubts about it in my mind. Let's get down to the action. Well, well played. From around 140 yards here. Good shot there. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Setting up this putt 21 feet from the cup. That'll sting a bit. So it'll be a par to start their round. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. Second shot on the second. Going with the five wood. Outstanding approach shot. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Fantastic play so far, setting this up for the eagle. Okay, that hole's behind you now. One under for the round. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. This one needs to kick left. That should set up another chance. Birdie at the last, this for another. And down it goes, so that's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it, two in a row. Nicely played, moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Time to face a par four. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot here at the four. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the fourth. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Ouch, that hurts. And this one is for his par. Just two shots back after that Welcome hole. To that golf match. Setting up now on a par four. Very um body bunkers and body water for the runs. I'm not playing my best game. Oh, absolutely me. flushed. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Fucking still. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Today, and this is another good look. Huh. Ooh, right Best by one. the hole. Putting for a par here. Oh, well, the good thing about making bogeys is it gives you a chance to bounce back at the next. Time to tee off at the sixth. Bogey on the last, but a good opportunity on this one to bounce back with a birdie. Not bad. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Uh, that'll flick a few of the leaves going through there. Well, 
take notes, folks. That's how you do it. And a fan. Good shot there, Beamer. Playing from around 150 yards here. He's two shots back. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Left yourself an opportunity. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. And this part to move into a share of first place. That was a gallant attempt. It's just about three feet away. Currently two under for the day. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Needs a little ground help to the left. Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. An opportunity here to move into a tie for first. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. <sighs> That'll hurt the momentum. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Yeah, I can understand he'd be disappointed by the bogey, but here's an opportunity to bounce back. a boy. Good shot. Well, Rich, isn't this a lovely sort of teaser for these players on the Corn Ferry Tour to be playing at the stadium course, which is known for the prestigious Players' Championship? They're almost getting a sense of what it might be like to be on the big stage. Exactly. However, there is one massive difference. You just don't have the number of fans out here like you would normally see it. That's what the biggest difference is this week. Still, they're going to feel a lot of pressure trying to close the deal, coming down 16, 17, and 18, no matter how many folks are watching. That putt seemed to lack a little bit of feel. It's downhill the entire way, and yet, inexplicably, oh comes up short. God. Putting for bogey. And that's a couple of bogeys on the bounce, I'm afraid. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Playing a little defensively. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Well played, mate. Even for the day. Trying to crack into the top ten. Oh, uh, that's a high-caliber shot. You've had the chance to have a look over this one? This one will run uphill. All right, you'll make it the next time. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that, we've arrived at a par five. Uh, right up in the canopy of the trees. Nicely done. Second shot here on the 11th. <laughs> Nicely done. And with the third shot. Five shots off the pace. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. A chance to get one under the card with this putt. Mm. Ah, that's frustrating. Putting for par. Like an opportunity was lost. And that's a nice strike. This one should find the fairway.
Second shot here on the 12th. This one needs to kick left and kick left hard. You love watching people play the game when it's like this. It looks so easy. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Ooh, nice line. Uh, looked good for a while, but unable to drop just inches away. Our current leader is enjoying a one shot. Well, 13, that's unlucky for some, Rich. That could play. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? This is a 12-footer here. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. Top effort, that. And the putt drops, but that's back-to-back -back bogeys now. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Have to see it rebound from that. Absolutely tattooed that drive. Playing from around 190 yards out. Looks to be going with the five iron. This one is all over it. Oh, that one had eyes for the flag the whole way. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Nicely done. This one from about 160 yards out. Now yeah, that was a safe play. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. That's disappointing. Wanted to get it up to the hole, but was just unable to up that slope. Par five. <laughs> Lovely effort, that. Second shot here on the 16th. Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich. Going forward in two. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game. A bold play. Hopefully a bold reward. This one needs to kick left. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Trying to get to one under here with this putt. This for a birdie birdie run. Bit too heavy handed there. Eight feet to the cup. Oh, so close. Let's try and make this one. I only dropped the one shot. And that's a little list. Spots on the leaderboard. This one might roll into the rough. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say.
always frustrated by missing a green. And what a rare miss today. They've been so good with their approach shots. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Mm -mm. Straight out of the top draw. Love watching this player around the greens. Not bad when you can say you finished in that 10 to 20 range. But they need to do something to take their game to the next level. Let's see if this player's got it in them. On behalf of Ridge Beam and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today views in the background however don't get lulled to sleep because you got to hit a good tee shot to avoid all four bunkers that dot this fairway both right and left second shot slightly uphill to again a green that's well protected by bunkers both right and left an opening par here is a fantastic score can't wait to see what unfolds and he needs this to save par that's pretty tidy Ah, the dreaded shove always hurts on the greens. And unfortunately, it's going to be a drop shot to begin the day. It's the thing they didn't want to have happen. An opening bogey, hopefully that does not set the tone for the rest of the day. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Wonderfully played. Ready to play their third. This one heading towards the green. A wonderful shot. A chance for Purdy here at the second. So after that hole, even with the card. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Second shot here on the third. Let's hope this one gets a good lie because it's heading towards the rough. Yeah, that one will play. Five feet coming up to the cup. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Well played. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. He's currently tied for fifth. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Tee shot is looking good here. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? And from around 135 yards. This one looks like it's going right. That wasn't their best approach, Beamer. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a share of fourth on the leaderboard. Yeah, you'll take that. Just after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Going with the seven. Oh, 
They're well played. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Six feet remaining to the cup. Nicely hold and for par. Current of the day. This par four has in store. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. No point hanging on to that one. You didn't hit your best there. And from the bunker here. Let's move one step closer to the lead here. This putt for a share of four. Oh, so close. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. At the seventh. You like that, didn't you? And here we are with the third shot. Just two shots behind. That's a high quality recovery shot. Judging it beautifully. Okay, steady now. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. And stepping up the standing. It's time for a one-shotter. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just about three feet away. He finds himself in a share of fourth. Always the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. That's an awful error. That's the line, the sand. Looks like this one's bunker bound. from our leader. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Rich, a few shots back with the last nine to play. Did you prefer to be the Greyhound or the Bunny? I want to be the Greyhound. I'm sprinting away if I possibly can. This player's three back. They need to start sprinting. Second shot here at the 10th. Look like this one's heading to the beach. Ah, great shot. Chance to get one under the card with this putt. This one's dialed in. And that will drop in for Birdie. We'll take him to one under. He's currently tied for sixth. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Gotta like it. Bit disappointing that one. Henny, how bad is this lie? Oh, they got so unlucky here, just off the fairway, but not sitting nicely. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. 
Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Looks like they may have pushed that one. Parpuck coming up here. Currently one under for the event. Head to the 12th hole. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Handy effort, that one. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. You'll be disappointed with that one. That was a pushed putt. And that should secure the par on this one. Just two shots after that hole. This one should find the rough. Second shot here on the 13th. Opting for the five iron. Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. Just two shots behind. This, he'll save his par. Ooh. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. And fortunately dropping back to level with the card. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. And he's down there. He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Boyd with confidence after that birdie. Gives a good chance to maintain the momentum. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Three shots off the lead. This looks to be heading to the green. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Oh, that's criminal. How do you leave that short? This is... I can't believe what I just saw there. It seems surreal. This is crazy. Ah, uh, that's disappointing. Let's see if we can get this one up and down for par. How close was that to going down? What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. You've finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Four strokes off the lead. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with it, he moves to one under par. The school card suggests heading up the leaderboard. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up.
That's tidy. Second shot here at the 18th. And here we are with the third shot. Just three strokes back. This putt to join those amongst the top ten on the leaderboard. Just didn't drop. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And that brings an end to the day. And as this tournament comes to a close, Rich, it's going to be a top 20 finish for this player. A couple of bright spots in there. A top 20 finish in a PGA Tour event is still a solid showing. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are delighted to present today's events. Today's coverage of the Haven Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company, and I'm alongside Rich Beam in the booth. Rich, let's get stuck into it. What's this opening hole like? Look for the backs. It's 5-5-5 five, five, five in a nice tee shot. Will allow pretty much every player to go for this green in two. Second shot will play straight downhill. I got to say, I've seen a lot of golf courses in my lifetime, Luke. The second shot on this par five is absolutely astounding. I love this opening hole. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. And this is an extremely long putt. You might even have to hinge on this one. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. This putt is about eight feet. This is what they have left for birdie here. It was on a good line. And that should secure the par on this one. He's currently tied for 12. Time to tee off at the second. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. Nearly doesn't... No, that's not the shot they wanted. Playing now from the fairway bunker. That's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. Oh, that's a ripper. Currently one under for the tournament. Here at Tahitian Escape, the fourth hole, Rich. Long par four and sand, sand everywhere. What a spectacular setting this hole is. You find the fairway, the second shot is going to be a little bit downhill, surrounded by what? More sand? You don't say here in Tahiti. What a spectacular hole this is. Should find the green. Unable to find the green on this one. Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Opportunity to make their par. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. 
Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Not far from the green here, just in the greenside rough. That's a well-played chip shot there. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. This hole here is a par four. This shot from 120 yards. He's two shots back. Yeah, nicely played. Just taking a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? Look, I got to say, I'm really not liking their chances here, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. And in it goes. Currently, Wanda for the round. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Second shot here on the seventh. Oh, that was pure. Getting ready to play their third. Only two shots off the pace. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Great touch. Well done. Take the birdie. And with it, he'll move to a couple under. We've reached the eighth hole. That tee shot looks pretty good. Playing from 110 yards out. Only one shot off the pace. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. That's just inside the range. Already had a few birdies today. This for another. That's a disappointing stroke. That's a push. And this putt to move into a tie for third. That putt went a bit long there. Next putt is for bogey. And unfortunately heading in the wrong direction on the leaderboard for that hole. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. This one looks to be heading towards the green.
Oh, that's a great approach shot. A chance to move to a couple under the card with this putt. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. That's the way to bounce back for the bogey at the last. And that puts him into the top five of the tournament. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. That's nicely done. Oh, wow. They're thinking of going for this one. Mm, looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. And here we are with the third shot. Currently a shot off the lead. Wow, that almost went in the hole. And this putt to move into a tie for first place. Currently at minus three for the round. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. See if he can get that one to come back to the left a little. Oh, that's a great shot. And a birdie coming up here at the 11th. Good chance this one, right on six feet. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And that four under. And after that hole, he's now alone on the leaderboard. Going with the hybrid. That's some good golf right there. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this putt 28 feet from the cup. That'll sting a bit. I think he gave that one too much respect. They didn't want to hit it too hard to go racing past the hole. Yeah, it's time to take a look at this 13th hole. That dog will hunt. Sitting at four under for the day, currently tied for first place. Great touch, really nicely played. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. And after a birdie at the last, they'll take the honor on the hole. Not really what they were hoping for there. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 155. <laughs> what a shot from that nasty light. You should be proud of that. Oh, just missed. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Leading by a couple after that hole. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? From around 170 yards here. Currently leading by two. That should find the surface. Oh, 
Oh, they're dialed in. It's an absolute clinic. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Lead now after that hole. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hands. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. This one could take a little bounce to the left. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. That's a great attempt from long range. So close. He's currently sitting in first place. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Well, that should find the bunker. From the sand, looking to get up and down. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Yeah, that putt looked pushed. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. This is important. Big par putt here. Spot on the leaderboard after that. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Man, people usually don't go that far on vacation. What a drive. This needs just a little work to the left-hand side. Now, that looked pretty good the whole way. And this putt for the tournament. The victory. Well played. Oh, absolutely. Sunday fun day. Let's go find the winner and spend the check, baby. On behalf of Rich Beam, Henny Kuyak, John McCarthy, I'm Luke Elvey saying so long from 2K Sports.
Thank you. 